Justin? Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Tom Bugovich with Insurance Network America. Uh, thank you all for joining us this morning. It is about five minutes before the hour, and uh, we are going to give it a few minutes for um, those that register to uh, jump on the call. Uh, we will uh, get underway a um, couple minutes after the hour. So um, you are all currently muted, and uh, if you just hold tight, we'll get uh, started with our our call shortly. Thank you. Justin, can you hear me? Hey, Tom, can you hear me? There you are. Okay. How you doing? Doing great. Okay. I dialed in the number, number on the invite, and it uh, wasn't showing green on the screen. Terrific. Okay. I've got, uh, I've got you turned over as the uh, presenter. If you could go back to that initial page for me uh, that you had up I, uh, until we have everybody underway. We'll, we'll give it about... Um, Three minutes or so here, and allow allow people to log in. Okay, I don't know if I can do that. All right, you can just stay where you are. Just That's fine. Okay. That's just fine. Stay where you are.
Okay, so for, for everyone on the call, I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, we are going to uh, begin about two to three minutes after the hour. We're going to give people a, a couple extra minutes here to log on. Uh, we've got a few people that logged on early, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, and we've got uh, a number of people still uh, jumping on the call. So um, everyone is on mute currently, and just give us a few minutes before we get underway. Thank you. Okay, so it is about uh, two minutes after the hour, and uh, we'll, we'll get going. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Tom Vukovic with Insurance Network America. I head up the Financial Products Division at Insurance Network America, and um, really excited about the, uh, the topic and the speaker we have today. Um, we are uh, going to be talking about mining your book of business for annuity sales with uh, Justin Shipman, uh, he's joining us. He is the Regional Vice President of Sales for Genworth. I've seen uh, Justin present uh, a number of times in the past, and he does a fantastic job of helping to give you uh, very usable ideas that you can put into practice. And as you approach year-end, as you have your annual re reviews with clients, um, these are going to be very useful ideas to keep in mind that will help drive revenue to your practice and help solve um, you know, potential problems or find solutions for your clients. So a couple of housekeeping items before I turn this over to Justin. Um, currently, everyone on the call is muted. However, um, I want to encourage you that if you have questions during the presentation, please submit them in the question area uh, on, uh, on the GoToWebinar uh, browser, and we will be sure to uh, uh, get to you as far as uh, answering your questions. So any questions at all, please use that as, as your way to ask questions throughout the presentation. So uh, without further ado, uh, I will turn it over to uh, Mr. Justin Shipman. Thank you for joining us. Great. Thanks, Tom, and thanks, everybody, for joining us this morning. You know, when, when we talk about mining your book of business, it's, it's pretty exciting because for those of us that have been in the business for a while, and uh, I actually started in the business in 1993. You know, you end up getting a lot of customers, and, and it may be disability insurance, maybe health insurance, 
maybe life insurance or annuities and you know taking a look at those cross-selling opportunities and and actually using the tools that are available to have that completed easily just makes a lot of sense and i've been talking about mining your book of business i know at the the uh, insurance network america summit you know the, which you guys always do a great job we did this as part of a breakout session and, and responses were pretty good so i'm excited to talk about it a little bit more today and uh, you know, share some ideas for you. So why don't we go ahead and get started here and take a look at the five areas that I want to kind of go through. When, it, when you come to mining your book of business, you know, who do you have in your, you know, what type of clients do you work with? Who do you have in your book of business? And the, the five areas I'm going to target this morning is first, that small business owner, the, the business owner that has five to 50 employees, not those gigantic business owners that have 100 employees or more. When, when you have a small business owner, five to 50 employees, there are a lot of opportunities with them, and we'll talk about that. Also, Medicare supplements. I mean, it's kind of the season uh, for Medicare supplements, and if you're working with those clients age 65 to 80, have a couple of ideas that, that you might be able to go into that annuity uh, sales pitch along with that Medicare supplement pitch. Obviously, individual health policyholders, those age 55 to 64, they're more apt to take a look at retirement planning. I'll share a couple of ideas for that. Um, even uninsurable clients, and usually this is where people go, well, Justin, what are you talking about? How, how can you offer some benefit to uninsurable clients, somebody that tried to get disability insurance or life insurance or even long-term care? and give them a solution that leverages their dollars. Well, uh, the good news is we can, and I'll go through how that works. And then we'll wrap up with uh, clients over a and a half with a qualified plan. Um, there's some pretty neat ideas and pretty good advantages uh, when you take a look at working with annuities. So if you take a look at that small business owner client, the, the client that has five to 50 employees, there's a lot of opportunity for you with, with this. And you know, ultimately, if you have that health insurance plan for the group, you know, you probably have good relationships with that HR director or, or even the owner of the business or, or the general manager. And, and one of the first opportunities I want to talk about is just those new employees. When new employees come on board, they actually may have existing 401k plans or other types of uh, qualified plans with their former employer. So there's rollover dollars that, that you can actually go ahead and move into either this 401k with the new business owner, the new employee, or you can move it away from that old company. Because think about it, how do people feel when they leave a company? Do they feel good about it? Do they feel bad about it? You know, they, they may not want to be associated with that company anymore. So they may want to move those funds from that qualified plan that was being offered at that business before. Uh, another opportunity is a little bit more complicated. It's an in-service withdrawal, and it's specifically targeted for those clients age 59 and a half. Now, the point of the call today is you have great resources at Insurance Network America. Capitalize on that. If, if you like any of the ideas, if you're jotting down different clients as I go through the presentation this morning, you know, call them up and, and say, hey, wait a minute, Justin said something about this. Um, can you give, him, give me that piece on it? And in-service withdrawals is one piece that we have as a white paper, and it, uh, it basically goes through how with qualified plans, with that 401k, with that 403b plan, that an employee age 59 and a half or older may be able to move money out of that qualified plan and into the annuity. Now, that's a great opportunity because when you think about that, that 59 and a half year old or that 60 year old, the options that they have within the 401k, for instance, usually it's gonna be a mutual fund type choice. And sometimes those mutual fund type choices aren't necessarily protecting the asset. There's a chance that the client could lose money. Well, I can show the client how you can move money out of that 401k plan into an asset called a fixed index annuity that actually helps protect against going backwards. And uh, just kind of as a quick sales pitch, if, if we remember the game shoots and ladders, right? You roll the dice, you move the person, and for those of us who have kids, I mean, you probably played that when the kids were little, right? So, but 
you know, there, there are ladders where if you land on the ladder, you get to go all the way to the top of the ladder. There are also chutes where you hit the top of the chute, you have to slide back down to, to the end of the chute. And that's a lot like retirement planning, right? Sometimes you're doing good and you're shooting up and your savings have, have shot up and you're doing really well. But sometimes you're going backwards, right, with those chutes and going down and sliding backwards. Well, what if there were an option where you could put money in and you could remove those shoots from the game. So you're going to make constant progress moving forward and, and have those ladders. Sometimes the ears are going to perform better than others. Sometimes you end up standing in place because, you know, you don't, don't get any earnings, but you don't lose anything either. So effectively, a fixed index annuity can remove the shoots in the game of shoots and ladders as, as kind of the analogy and help those clients keep moving forward. So, you know, index annuities can help with these in-service withdrawals because those 59 and a half year olds and older don't want to go backwards with their retirement savings. So try out using shoots and ladders as the analogy for, for working with retirement planning with your clients. I think they'll get it, they'll understand the benefit of an index annuity and we'll talk a little bit about uh, how our products can help with these as well. Now, the third thing, the third opportunity here is to, to train your HR person or management contact that you need to know about those new hires. You need to know what, what the individual's uh, retirement plans are. You need to know about the families of those five to 50 employees because, after all, who just sent their kids off to college? I mean, what's going on with, with the different employees? And the more that you know, the more opportunities you have, the more opportunities you have to sell annuities and also mine your book of business. So let me show you some of the resources that we have because the goal of the call today is not to make you an expert on any of these different things. We have a lot of different resources that can help out. Um, but we have this let's talk material and, and literally you can give it to the new employees. It's a tabloid type uh, piece that has just kind of little articles about retirement. You know, what should I be considering? You know, what, what I'm planning for retirement, what, what do I need to look at? And, and let's talk is just to start talking about the conversation of retirement. I, tell, I mentioned the in-service withdrawal white paper. Um, white paper does a great job kind of explaining the benefits and, and how you do an in-service withdrawal with these different small businesses. Um, and sometimes businesses are looking for different resources, right? You know, if it's, it's last month was uh, National Long-Term Care Month, and we had a lot of different banners and things for National Long-Term Care Month at Genworth, and we have different banners, infographics, like the one you see on the screen, a pre-retire survey, almost two-thirds feel they're behind schedule when it comes to planning and saving for retirement. So if the business has an intranet site, you can actually put this banner on that site and have, when an employee clicks on it, it goes to your email and shoots you a quick email saying that, hey, they'd like more information on, on this. Um, so different ways that you can work with the small business owners, and, and pretty simple, right? You don't need to be the expert on this. It's just getting the conversation started, using those contacts that you already have um, and just going a little bit further with them. So let's switch here to Medicare supplement owners age 65 to 80. Um, you know, you'll notice I put 80. Uh, I, our products just go up to age 80 in most cases. Some of them go up to age 85, um, but 65 to 80 seems to be the target market for this. And one of the opportunities is that when you're meeting with the client to do an annual review to make sure that they have the right coverage that they need, you might want to just ask them how they pay for the coverage. Because, you know, when a person retires, there are a few things they don't want to give up, right? And one of them is the insurance, typically, that they have, like a Medicare supplement. Because they're paying for this to make sure that they don't have that huge health and health bill, right? So if they get sick or they get injured and, and have medical expense, the Medicare supplement is supposed to help with that. Well, the good news on annuities is that I can actually create a lifetime income stream to pay that Medicare supplement premium each and every year, just like clockwork, right? So, and, you know, you basically make it easier for the client where they don't have to write a check every year. But the other opportunity that I've seen is, is that, you know, clients are oftentimes surprised when you sit down with them for the first time to talk about 
this Medicare supplement policy that Medicare doesn't cover nursing home care, right? And in fact, they're surprised that the Medicare supplement only covers up to the, the 100 days. So, you know, if a client's healthy enough to qualify for long-term care, well, hey, go talk about that long-term care policy. But if you have that client that has some health issues, we actually have a, a benefit on our contract, our Secure Living Growth Plus contract, that will double the income if a person gets confined for 30 days or more. So it's a way to create income for your client when they need some additional income, right? Because after all, if I have to go to a skilled nursing facility, it's really about how much money I have to spend on a monthly basis. So if I'm making $5,000 a month and I have a $3,000 medical expense, well, I'm going to have to give up something, right? Because then, you know, $5,000 down to $2,000, that $2,000 may not be enough to pay for all my bills. Well, if $3,000 was coming from our annuity and I get confined for 30 days or more after the first two years, well, I can double that income, double that $3,000 to $6,000. So I'm going to have a total of $8,000 of income. So my $3,000 expense really doesn't impact me. And, you know, clients are looking for ways to, to leverage dollars. Um, you know, this is one way that if you're working with Medicare supplement owners, show them how they can enhance their coverage. And instead of just having 100 days of benefit, let's show them how they can actually expand that. So when you go down go and sit with the, uh, the customer, you know, with that annual review, we do have a brochure. It's income when you need it most. Um, it basically goes through our enhanced withdrawal benefit and how you can double that income um, if you ever needed additional help, right? If you're ever confined for those 30 days. And the confinement doubler is kind of a simple story, but it's one that can work for, for all kinds of clients. And, you know, the other thing that we see is that, you know, clients, there are certain clients that are concerned about longevity. And for some of you that, that have, you know, met with before, you know, I've, I've told you about my grandmother. I mean, my grandmother died this year she was one month short of 101. Now, that scares me, right? Because 101, that means I have longevity in my family. And, you know, man, what happens if I retire at 65 and I live to 101? I have almost 36 years of income that I need to have. So one of the great benefits annuities have to offer is that I can offer a lifetime income stream that's going to give your client a check for as long as they live. And for couples, well, great. We can set it up where we can provide a check for as long as either or live, right? So, you know, longevity risk, we have a great video that helps cover this. It's, it's about two and a half minutes long. You can send it out to your clients for, for Medicare supplement business and, and just ask them if they're concerned about this. Um, we have a notepad to, to kind of do a napkin presentation with and then a follow-up piece as well with the longevity risk materials. So. Lots of different tools to make your job easier. And again, you don't have to be the expert on it. So let's switch to the third opportunity for mining your book of business. And that's that individual health policy holder. Typically, I'm going to say age 55 to 64. It may be a younger client, but 55 to 64 are the clients that I, I know they're focused on income planning and retirement planning. Um, so the opportunity with income planning for retirement is that, look, you know, we have products in our Secure Living Growth Plus where if you put money in it today at age 55 the, and let it sit for 10 years and then start taking income, well, that income number is just going to go up. Our withdrawal factor or the percent that we let a client have access to increases each and every year that they defer taking income. So my 55-year-old starts off at a 4.3%. Uh, withdrawal rate, but by the time they're 65, now we're at 7.55% for a withdrawal rate. And when you compare our product withdrawal rate at 7.55 compared to the competition, well, you know what? That 7.55% is probably going to beat everybody. So, you know, for income planning, it's a great opportunity. Um, certainly, it's just an additional question. After you're done with that sale, and, and certainly health insurance has been impacted greatly um, with revenue, with the Affordable Care Act and, and that. But 
you know, you have the client, the client buys you, right? They aren't necessarily buying the policy, they're buying you. They, they have to trust you. Well, you know what, if you come back with an idea about income planning or, or maybe reducing risk in retirement, or even an idea on social security planning, well, you know what, you're, you're gonna get that opportunity to say, okay, well, here's the next step here. Let me show you about some of the solutions uh, that I can offer you. Um, so ultimately, when you take a look, I, I mentioned our longevity risk material. We actually have four different risks that we cover. Um, so not only longevity, but market volatility, that's a hot topic today. Uh, inflation risk and interest rate risk. I mean, is the Federal Reserve ever gonna increase interest rates? Well, maybe. Well, if that happens, that can negatively impact bonds. And, uh, you know, or, you know, maybe even those CDs, right? Because the clients get locked in at that lower CD rate. Now they're not happy about it. Well, we have some great interest rates that we can show you with our annuities as well. And I put down the notepad here too because I'm a big napkin type presenter. I, I, I like simple. And, and, you know, if I can put it on a notepad, the client's probably going to easily understand it and they're going to move forward within the process. So some of the materials, you can see the notepad actually on the bottom right here. Um, it quickly summarizes each of the four risks with a big space up top. You know, the power of annuity is clarified. And, you know, market volatility, I can go through and show the benefit of an annual reset type strategy where the clients don't, don't go backwards, right? Shoots and ladders, you lock in the gains each and every year, and you don't have to worry about going backwards. Social security, a lot of people don't know that, you know, based on the income you make after you retire and start social security benefits, um, you know what, your social security benefits can be taxed. So, you know, and maybe 50% of the benefits are taxed or 85% of the benefits are taxed. And we have a piece that goes through how a non-qualified deferred annuity can reduce taxation on social security benefits. So, you know, again, it's that simple story, but you know, when you can bring up an idea that clients don't know about, well, they're gonna ask additional questions and, and create other opportunities for for letting you mine your book of business. So the fourth opportunity is that uninsurable client and people kind of go, well, wait a minute, how, how can you do that? And you know, disability insurance, I mean, what are you talking about? If you take a look at why people were purchasing disability insurance or life insurance or long-term care, oftentimes it's about creating income or, or creating protection, extra assets, right? So disability insurance, it's totally income replacement typically. And, and with long-term care, they just want to reduce the amount that their nest egg's going to go down, right? So if, if you could have a way to leverage their assets, not only uh, to, to maybe offer some additional benefits if they're confined for the 30 days, but also offer a lifetime income stream that you know they're not going to run out of money. And we all know the number one fear people have is running out of money. Well, here's a way to actually reduce that fear. And, and you know, ultimately, most people want to create additional funds when they need it most. That's why they buy disability or life insurance or long-term care. Well, this is a way with the annuity to actually create additional funds and leverage the dollar that the client has. I say leverage the dollar that the client has because if I asked your client what asset would they spend first if they ever had a, a medical event, well, they would tell me that $50,000 that I have in that CD or, you know, that $25,000 I have in this bond portfolio. Okay, well, what would happen if I took that asset and, and you know, let's just let it sit there, just like what it's doing today, but maybe gave you a little bit more upside or potential for earnings? Um, because that's kind of what fixed index annuities do. They, they give you an opportunity where, you can make, maybe make a little bit more than that CD or that savings account or, you know, maybe even perform a little bit better than that 10-year treasury today. Um, so, and by doing that, it's like, okay, I'm growing the asset and when I need the help, that's when you turn on income and, and I can actually double the income. Now, if the client really was looking at disability insurance and, and just looking at income, that lifetime income for an individual or for a couple and the opportunity to have increasing income as I go through retirement, that leverage gets great. And that's what an index annuity can do, is it can help leverage those dollars 
that the client has and use those same dollars that they would be using in the event of a medical emergency in that, right? Because now, if I'm creating that income and I've let the fund sit, and that percent that I have access to goes up, well, think about it. My 65-year-old that starts off at 5.3%, by the time they're age 80, which our average claim age for long-term care at Genworth is age 81, now I'm at a 12.8% withdrawal stream. And if I get confined for 30 days or more, I double that 12.8% to 25.6%. Now that's leverage for a client, an uninsurable client. I can create additional leverage for them to, to make sure that they have the benefits that they need when they need it most. So it, it's kind of a neat opportunity for you. Just ask your clients if they're interested in leveraging funds, um, and I am sure based on, on talking to a lot of agents across the country, that you probably have an uninsurable client in your book of business. You try to write life insurance, you try to write disability or long-term care, and you just couldn't get the policy underwritten, right? Well, here's a case that we don't have any underwriting questions. So we can use this for all your uninsurables and, and create that leverage for your client, not only for that lifetime income, but also that enhanced withdrawal limit um, that I talked about. So the last kind of idea for mining your book of business is for those clients over age 70 and a half with, with qualified money. And the reason why I say over age 70 and a half because when a client turns 70 and a half, they have to start taking required minimum distributions. And the government has it set up where they use a factor of 27.4, calculate the RMD in the first year, and then that factor goes down by one each and every year as the client ages. Um, but if you take one in, into 27.4, it actually equates to 3.65% withdrawal rate. Well, my product, when we start income, it starts out at 5.8%. Now that's 2% better than that 3.65% withdrawal rate. So I, I can create a higher income for the client immediately. And, and if I want to use this money and create a joint payout, we can actually do that at Genworth. And, and you know, what you do is you transfer over the money, we'll add the spouse as, as that joint annuitant, and you can have either a single life payout or a joint life payout uh, on this contract. So we can create funds for either one of them, the husband or the, the wife, as long as they're alive. Create that income for them. And the thing about required minimum distributions is while the percent that they take out goes up, well, at some point, the value of the, the pot of money starts going down, right? Because as I take 6% out or 5.8% or out and I'm only earning 3, well, my, my bucket of money goes out. And, and really, by the time I'm age 98, the government wants the clients to take all their money out of the qualified plan. So they probably may not have any money left. And you know, for most clients, if they take money out, what's going to happen? They're probably going to spend it, right? They don't necessarily save it. The government's making them take a distribution. They're paying taxes on the distribution. And here's a, here's a way where I can create that lifetime income stream from qualified money for the individual or for the couple. And I can also create a, an event. Remember, I mentioned the enhanced withdrawal benefit. That's the doubling of the income. Well, if I have a qualified plan, and now I have a medical event where I need help and I go to a skilled nursing facility, well, I double the income. Well, if I'm at that 25.6% withdrawal rate on $100,000, I'm taking 20, over $25,000 out each and every year um, to, to pay for that medical expense. Now, I will tell you that the enhanced withdrawal benefit will last for up to five years or until the cash value is gone, whichever is shorter. So if I'm taking over 25% out each year, I'm only going to have a maximum benefit of like four years, right? But when I'm taking that money out of a qualified plan, it's a taxable event. But guess what? On Schedule A, if my health care expense exceeds 10% of my adjusted gross income, I can deduct that expense. So here's a way where I may be able to take that $25,000 out and because I normally have like a $75,000 income, well, $25,000 certainly exceeds that 10% that requirement for the deduction on Schedule A. 
and you're able to take money out of a qualified plan and pay taxes, but also have a tax deduction where you're taking money out, not necessarily having to pay for it, right? Pay taxes on it, right? So kind of a great opportunity, and again, it's for the individual or for the couple, and I know a lot of companies don't don't allow that. So I would tell you the opportunity is certainly compare the income numbers, you know, that 5.8% to start, that's a big number when you compare it against 3.65. For those clients that you know, are, have, are concerned about running out of money, you know, my index annuity, my secure living growth clause um, with the income rider can make sure that they don't run out of money. Um, that lifetime incomes for an individual or for a couple. Um, you can create beneficiary IRAs where you can actually create benefits for the children and, and reduce taxes. Um, you know, so a lot of different great benefits for those clients over age 70 and a half with a qualified plan. And, and you know, at Genworth, we, we keep taking a look at, at uh, different uh, practice management opportunities and you know, we actually have different sessions that, that we do on practice management and how you can actually work with your business a little bit more effectively. And one of the things that, that happens uh, with practice management is we talk about creating simple, repeatable processes. So something that you can get really good at doing and, and you implement it in your book of business, right? Well, with this, with mining your book of business, I would tell you have a process for doing this. Identify five to ten existing clients uh, every week and ask them about annuities. Now I'm not going to ask them, hey, you want to buy an annuity? I might ask them, what are you doing about retirement, right? Uh, you know, are you concerned about outliving your savings? You know, ask them that. And then if they say yes, then you can go into it further, right? So one of the things that you can do though to maybe identify those five to ten existing clients is I know many agents send out birthday cards. When I sent out birthday cards, I, I had some clients that card was the only card that they got. So if I ask them what they're doing about retirement, they're probably going to tell me, right? Well, send out those birthday cards. Maybe use that same list as a follow-up. Say, you know, give them a call on their birthday or afterwards. You know, hope you had a great birthday. By the way, you know, I, I may not have mentioned I work with retirement planning. What are you doing with your retirement? How do you feel about it? You know. And, and just do that each and every week. And if you do that with five to ten clients, I know you're going to have different appointments set up. You may have three appointments set up. You know, use our four risk material or other material like Let's Talk. And, and you know, you're going to generate business. And, and think about that. If you do one annuity case each and every month, and, and at Genworth, our average premium is over $100,000, but you know what, if you do a $100,000 Secure Living Growth Plus policy at a 7% commission, you're adding $7 each and every month, that's $84,000 over the year. Now, who, who wouldn't want another $84,000? And you have the clients already. So let's take a look at how you can actually, you know, create $84,000 of additional income just by selling one annuity each month. So, and if you don't want to do 84000 you know, hey, I'm okay. You, you sell one annuity every quarter, you're still going to make an extra $28,000. And it's just you have to ask those clients that you already have in your book of business. So, certainly Insurance Network America does a great job. Um, they, can, they can help you with product selections and, and go through and provide as well. Um, but we have a lot of resources as well at Genworth, and I wanted to show you a couple of different websites. Um, our annuity toolbox, that's where you can find the four risk material. Um, you know, get that notepad, get the video links, and, and start sending those out to your client. Our index institute is really a training ground for fixed index annuities and index universal life. So if you're not feeling comfortable presenting the products, this is a great place to go to to, to learn more about the products. And we even have videos that go over client objections, our sales center where you can get forms, brochures, things like that. So, you know, when, when you're in your office at 8 o'clock at night after you've wrapped up an appointment and, and you need something, you can go to the annuity sales center, print off those forms. And I put up the social security site on here too, the ssa.gov, um, just because I think that having a background on social security benefits, especially if you're working with Medicare supplements or, you know, health policy owners and in that, the more we know about Social Security, the more we know about retirement planning, the easier it is to kind of position annuities. 
with 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 retirement planning and after all social security is kind of that great annuity because it's creating that income stream that the client's not going to outlive well my index annuity my immediate annuity my deferred annuity is, can do that as well um, but you know certainly you know go into these different sites take a look at them you know talk with insurance network america tell me you like one of the ideas you're working with those small business owners you'd like to kind of start implementing this within your book of business and i want to go through and just real quickly share uh, a little bit more about our secure living growth plus contract because our fixed index annuity we actually just launched a low volatility strategy and, and those who sell fixed index annuities one of the, a couple of the challenges that people came back with is that wait a minute you know you work with the s p 500 for crediting strategies and that but you know you you limit my upside you have an, a cap on it where you limit the upside and you know why can't i just have a set cost um and, and get all that upside well you know what with our barclays low volatility strategy we set the cost we call it a spread and, and basically what you earn over and above that is what the client's going to get. And the other complaint that clients had is that, wait a minute, you're putting money in, you know, using the S&P 500, well, those stocks pay dividends. Well, you don't give me a dividend on the strategy that you're putting my money in. Well, with the new Barclays Low Volatility Strategy that we have, we actually include dividends in the performance. Dividends get reinvested and, and they benefit your clients because here's this low volatility strategy that has a set cost called a spread and, and on the secure living growth plus um, you know actually well, let me do this let me go to the rate flyer here the spreads are pretty low so at hundred thousand dollars you can see the volatility control spread strategy we have a 1.4 percent annual cost now the strategy is a two-year strategy so where are the 50 stocks that we're investing in at, at the start of that two-year period where are they at at the end of the two-year period? If the value went up, great. Client gets that, less the spread costs, and, and you know they, they receive crediting on the contract. If those 50 stocks go down, well, you know what? Then just like any other year where the S&P is not, not positive, they're not going to get any crediting. But again, they don't lose any money on that as well. So you know our contract is very rich in benefits. We have different protections for your client, like a bailout feature that protects the client from gen worth, reducing the crediting rates lower and lower and lower. And, and you know, we also have some benefits built in on the Barclays strategy as well. In fact, some companies have double digit maximum costs. We didn't like that. So we actually said, okay, our maximum uh, spread is only going to be up to 6%. And you can see at 1.4%, you know, we multiply that by two for that two-year period, so it costs 2.8% for the two-year period, but still a great opportunity where the client knows what the cost is instead of kind of that opportunity cost with, with the cap. And the great thing about this contract that I haven't mentioned yet is that it has a 50% bonus on it. Now, a 50% credit enhancement, we're actually going to add 50% more of the crediting each and every year. So. If I use my Barclays uncapped strategy, the low volatility strategy, and I make 20% over that two-year period of time, well, I take out the 2.8% spread, so I'm at 17.2%. Well, I get 50% of that added in as well, so I get 8.6% added in. Well, heck, that's over a 25% credit over a two-year period of time now. That's a great opportunity. So, you know, not only do we have you know, this opportunity to enhance withdrawal with the lifetime income, being able to use qualified money, I mean, in that tax offset, we now have this low volatility strategy plus a 50% credit enhancement. Now, the 50% credit enhancement works on all these strategies that you see on the screen. Um, and I would tell you, allocate amongst the different strategies because, you know, choose the cap, you know, maybe put 40% in the annual cap, 50%, in the Barclays Low Volatility Strategy, maybe even 10% in the one-year fixed strategy to cover the 1.1%. The um, you know, but think about it. Your client's getting crediting. They're getting a 50% bonus on that crediting. They, they have the enhanced withdrawal limit. And I forgot to mention that the enhanced withdrawal limit comes with caregiver support as well. 
So if your clients or their immediate family members available from day one of the contract, if they have a medical event, they need some information, they can actually give us a call. We'll provide a list of resources available in their area and help the family out. Now, we aren't going to go through and administrate care or anything like that with that, but oftentimes, especially for those affluent clients, they just want to know about the resources available, right? So we have the benefit that we offer. So kind of make it simple for the explanation on how in value. We have the Barclays strategy, the 50% credit enhancement. We have the bailout protection as well. Multiply it by that withdrawal factor. That withdrawal factor that increases annually until I start taking income. And if I start taking income, well, I can choose an increasing income option as well. We multiply those two factors and ultimately that's what the client gets for lifetime income. Now, great, great benefits for clients. I do want to show you how you can make some additional money with us as well because this year we came out with our producer elite program. Basically means that if you do a million dollars worth of annuity business with us, we're going to give you an extra one half one percent um, in compensation on those income product sales, those index annuities that have the income riders on them. We're going to just pay you more. So if you do three million, get an extra one percent at five million, you get an extra one and a half percent. So you know, lots of different opportunities with mining your book of business. Uh, I know we've talked about a lot of different things today, and, and certainly you know that that small business owner, that individual health policy owner, the Medicare supplement uh, policies that you sell, that uninsurable client, even those clients over age seven and a half, just different opportunities that you can go to um, to create additional revenue. Because you know that's kind of the bottom line, right? We aren't in sales not to make money. We're trying to make money. So if you can identify different sales opportunities, and I know Insurance Network America, they can help you with this. They have a lot of great resources, a, you know, a great team there to help you with these as well with case development, case planning. You know, Talk to them about, hey, I have this client in my book of business. Justin said something about it. You know, What should I do? Um, but don't go it alone. Use the resources that we have, the websites that I set. I uh, showed you before, um, they're there for a reason. We know people like being able to have access to information, um, and there's no sign-on needed for those websites. So we're trusting you. you know, use the materials that we have, do the Genworth annuity sales, and, and uh, certainly we'll, we'll all have a great 2016. So Tom, with that, I think what I'd like to do is, is just open it up to, to questions here. Okay, um, there, there have been a few questions submitted online. Um, I'm not sure that we've had a, a, a couple people drop off in the last minute or so. Um, so we will uh, certainly reach out to those that have questions. Um, if, if you have any questions at this point, um, please uh, just raise your hand within the, uh, the browser on the uh, GoToWebinar. Well, great. Well, certainly, hopefully, you've identified okay, different client opportunities. Okay, we do have one. Just a moment. Okay, it looks like uh, Craig Alston. You have a question, uh, Craig? Hey, talk me. In. Craig, can you uh, can you hear me all right? I've unmuted him. Hello. Hey, Craig. How you doing? Okay. There we go. Uh, my question is, I'm. Um, Right now, um, I'm very uh, new to the business. I'm not doing any annuity sales as of yet, but uh, I want to get into the business uh, in the spring of next year. Uh, right now, I'm doing a lot of uh, my life, health, and title agent. I have a, a, a license where I do a lot of real estate closings. I go to banks to do closings. I do a lot of refinances, purchases, loan modifications. Um, and I'm not in need of any lead program because um, I have access to a lot of different uh, clients. Um, I'm a member of certain organizations, a veterans organization that I'm a, a member of. So my question is, what kind of uh, home office support do you guys have? Like, what, you know, what kind of ongoing training and home office support do you guys have? Because you have a good product, and I can see this working into into what I want to do. Uh, but I just want to know what kind of what kind of home office you know back office support do you guys have? 
Well, I, I would tell you, and I'm, I'm certainly biased, but I think Genworth is really kind of known as an education company, and, and we have a lot of different tools that, that a lot of my counterparts uh, don't have, the other companies don't have. Um, you know, so so take a look at the Index Institute. I mean, you know, you're working with a great BGA. They, they can help you as well, um, but, you know, the materials and resources that we have, um, I would tell you, you have a great opportunity. I mean, if you're working with, with mortgages and stuff, you know where the assets are. And, and you know, ultimately by, by creating the, the, the new mortgage or, you know, refinancing, it gives you an opportunity to identify those people that, you know, maybe are nearing retirement or in retirement looking at reducing their expenses. Well, let's show them how they can actually create an income stream uh, to cover those expenses for, for however long they need. So. Um, you know, for education, we have the best resources, and I, I think you'll see that. If you go to that annuity sales uh, or annuity toolbox, um, mm -hmm. you'll see just great, great resources for you. Okay. And hey, Craig, this is, this is Tom Vukovic, and uh, I'll echo that. Uh, Genworth's uh, materials are really second to none, and they really are uh, thought of as an education company. They really have some great client-friendly tools, and as well as partnering with us um, at Insurance Network, uh, we are really focused on um, you know, helping educate and, and train and help you in any way that we can. So it's, it's like having another partner uh, in the industry. So um, that, is, that is our role, to help you find the resources to uh, help identify the clients and, and really be a partner for you. Great. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Because for me, it's, it's all about the educational piece and um, you know, on you know, from, from my end as well as the uh, the consumer, because you want to uh, you know you want to match the right product for that particular consumer. And as long as you keep the consumer first, and not necessarily the sale. Yes, you want to make the sale, but you know you want to make sure that uh, that you find the right product for that individual client. Because if you satisfy their needs, I mean. You don't have to do any marketing because they're going to tell their friends, their family, and um, you know my thing is customer services has got to be paramount. You know, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Thank you for your question, Craig. Sure, thank you. Okay, and uh, any any other questions out there? Okay, so we are. Well, Great. Thanks, ahead, thanks, Tom, yeah. and, and thanks, everybody, for, for taking the time today. I really appreciate it, and hope you take a look at the uh, Secure Living Growth Plus product and implement this within your business. So, But you have a great and, uh, thing to work with at Insurance Network, so take advantage of well, that. Well, yeah, I, I just wanted to, uh, in closing, um, I want to thank Justin. Uh, Justin Shipman, he's been a terrific partner to us and um, really knows his stuff, and, and thank you for the great ideas. Uh, our role is is really to help make it easier for you to do business, and so we partner with uh, partners like Justin, and uh, we're truly committed to bringing you great tools and useful ideas that you can implement in your practice. So we will be following up with you to see how we can help, um, as well as those that asked a few questions online. We had a couple people drop off, and it looks like they did submit some questions. So we follow up those as well. Um, but in the meantime. Um, do not hesitate to reach out to us uh, if we can assist with walking you through the materials, helping point out where it is, um, and um, if, or if you have a specific case, don't hesitate to call us. Again, our number, many of you have this, but it's 800-456-7999. So call us anytime. Again, thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Justin Shipman, and everyone have a terrific day.